and welcome. Navigating a period of high volatility is on the mind of every business leader in the world today, uh, as much as those in the emerging markets. Well, I'm joined by someone who could throw some light on it, Aaron Fogel, chairman of the IDB Development Corporation, a conglomerate that holds many well-known companies in Israel, including in telecom and insurance. Mr. Fogel, thank you very much for speaking with us. So tell us, when we talk about navigating an uncertain world, uh, in, uh, I'm assuming the context is more financial because we're talking about tapering, we're talking about capital flows, uh, changing in course. What are the key things that come to your mind and what are you focused on? Um, you know, everything starts with the basic issues. Mm -hmm. It's not me, uh, use the name finance and other, but mm -hmm. it's all in our nature as human beings. Mm -hmm. And nowadays we are living more in the world of imaging than in a, in a world of um, significance. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's create a lot of issue. Uh, most of the respond to every development is a short run. If you go to the political level, their own survival, that's the major issue. So not the necessary long-term measures that could stabilize and return to uh, growth. And why is that? Uh, I believe that part of the game of politics of today, the short run cons consideration, mm -hmm. it's supported by the media, they like a lot of action, the short run uh, actions, but it's also a uh, matter, maybe it's tougher to do uh, long term significant real things. Mm -hmm. uh, now if we take for example what happened in 2008 when it all started, uh, governments did nothing. So central bank took a kind of initiatives and reduced the interest rate. That creates something. Then, but that was I believe a mistake by reading what has been going, all, uh, going on at that time. Why? Because in 2008, the main issue was increased risks. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily don't, you don't have enough profits in order you have to reduce interest rate. And nobody deal with those risks. Even the Lehman Brothers case, for example, people lost money. And it's issue when somebody thinks that he put his money within a, a decent financial institution and suddenly he lost part of his money, but nobody dealt with that. So the only partial answer was reducing the interest rate. Mm -hmm. And uh, so then- we've still not grappled with the fundamental concept of risk and its weightage? Yes, uh, again please? I think, are you saying that therefore we've not still addressed the issue of, of risk, risk in yes. the manner that it should be in addressed? Yes, because in that case you can have much more comprehensive and normal policy that people uh, uh, reads the new rules of the game and behave accordingly to the target that, at the end of the day, the political level should right. put so in front of the uh, public. Israel's largest insurance company. You've also been an advisor to the Israeli central bank. Right? Yes. So how do you see the concept of risk from your vantage point as someone who's been in this world? You know, the individual faces much lower risk than the whole state. Mm -hmm. uh, Sometimes as an individual, it's all his life, most of his money in one issue. Mm -hmm. But state invested in many other. So somebody in the state level should bridge the gap. Mm -hmm. That's create a lot, may create a lot of activity, by the way, especially in the emerging market, but not only. And then there are many instruments that you, we can use. Sometimes it's grants. By mistake, a lot are doing tax, uh, tax reliefs, but that's not the answer because you enjoy the tax only if you succeed. It's not participation in risk. You can use government guarantees in order that the, um, um, the investor will put maybe less equity and then he may be ready to take the risk, otherwise he would not. And most important, every central bank should declare that he support any bank that it's under control. People should not feel that they are going to lose any money if they put it in the bank. Okay. Okay, so let me ask you from the other side, right? As a borrower, 
Okay, so, uh, I mean, you've uh, recently take over, uh, taken over at IDB, the conglomerate, yes. which as I said owns many companies including retail, telecom, insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a debt problem as well, which you're grappling with. Uh, how do you see it from, uh, from the other side and what are the lessons that you would perhaps want to share for other countries uh, and or other large conglomerates and companies in other countries? You know, sometimes, maybe more in emerging markets, but not only, Israel used to have such a disease as the, the disease is life according cash flow. Okay. You never mind if you get money from work, mm -hmm. dividends, or loans. Mm -hmm. You relate to that the same. Mm -hmm. And people should bear in mind, loans should be repaid. Mm -hmm. That is something that the fruits of the assets should support and pay. Mm -hmm. And that was the major mistake also in IDB. Mm -hmm. the huge loans and debt, maybe it is covered by the value of the assets, but there was no coordination between the repayment maturity and timing and the asset potential uh, fruits. Mm -hmm. And that's something, a lesson that is very important. Always when you look at debts, you, have do, you must do it simultaneously with your asset structure and potential, potential income mm -hmm. coming from the assets. Otherwise, don't take a debt, even it seems to you very cheap. Okay, if I were to ask you to uh, extrapolate this uh, uh, lesson uh, to, let's say, many of the companies, including in countries like India, which are sitting on high debt, and in some cases, high cost of debt. Uh, because this, in some ways, affects the entire flow of capital uh, in emerging markets, perhaps. Uh, what would they be? I think it should be a combination of two major um, um, activities. Mm -hmm. One, before time, come to your bank or financial institution and restructure your debt. Mm -hmm. And restructure by convincing the lender that you can repay it on a longer maturity because the assets, assets are Mm -hmm. the nature they are. Second, I am very much in favor of government involvement by giving all kind of guarantees. There are many uh, um, uh, possibilities how to uh, use government guarantee in order to enhance new activity, new investment. Not to give any guarantee to pass that because mm. that should be negotiated between the lenders and the uh, asset owners. Right. But for in enhanced new activities, government should introduce government guarantees. Okay, and if I were to bring you back to the first question, you know, navigating a period of high volatility, what are your uh, prescriptions, if one may ask you, for the year ahead? Turn back to the real life. Mm -hmm. Don't take imaging as the most important factor in running your business. Mm -hmm. Look at strategy, management abilities, positioning. Use analysts that understand well the, differ the uh, differences between the business. Don't invest too much in financial structures. Um, do much less indexes. Maybe you should uh, invest more than ca all kind of equity funds that you rely on, on its management. Mm -hmm. uh, think of equity based on real potential of bringing later, uh, along the years, a decent income. Mm -hmm. Don't follow uh, profiles, don't follow uh, no criticism, but no, uh, not appraisal of the media. Look at the merits of every specific deal. Okay, and, and finally, uh, also uh, do not, or rather try and be long-term as opposed to being short-term, in as much as you can. Yes, uh, because long-term perspective bring you, for the short-term, a better present value. And that's something that you always should look at the future and derive from the future the present valuation. 
not look at all kind of EBITDA, multiple such and that. Um, because accounting is a language. Mm. It's not necessarily lef reflects the real value of the assets. At the end of the day, you use medium long term consideration, you improve a lot the value of your assets. That's a good note to end on. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank Mr. you. Fogel.